Good morning, YouTube. Today I have a little something special for you. I'm gonna show you something that uh, at least the Swedish viewer of mine, at least those guys and girls, not girls, <laughs> guys that have the uh, hair in their ear and nose gonna get both good and bad flashbacks about but I'm not gonna tell you right now I'm gonna hold you on um, halstead <laughs> like you see it's very very wet in Sweden should be snow now Last day, two days ago, it was snowing like hell, and last day it was raining, and now it's raining, so it's very damp. It's gonna be a challenge to start a fire. I'm gonna go in here and collect some um, birch bark right over there I see a fallen tree I'll be back Bloody hell, I get a little bit of sweaty of all that woodwork. I have recently almost cured from a man flu from hell. I have been home from work seven days. Anyway, should I show you this? Uh, <coughs> and I'm gonna cough, and I don't smoke, but cough sometimes. Anyway, should I show you this? Um, Thing then let's say and now we go back in the early Swedish day in the military in my case this was my first uh, everybody in Sweden must do military service and for me it was 1990 and now I'm going to talk about the food in the Swedish army back then. That Swedish famous golden cans. Hello, see here all Swedish all farts. Do you remember this delicious stuff or not so delicious? It's a little bit because I haven't eaten this food since I think 1999 when I was in Kosovo. Uh, in that area, Sweden started to uh, create uh, more modern combat rations kits. But in Bosnia, both time in Bosnia and when I do my military service at home, we have Guldburken or Golden Can. The, there is no date on this can, but can this be 1985 January? Or is this number something else? And can this be 1990 March? I don't know. These cans. A military buddy of mine gave me 
and he did his first military service I think 1993 and and I did mine 1990 and back then when we have this Gullburk golden cans they nev never gave us new one because I remember back then I ate cans that was maybe 10 years old so this can cans can be, be 30 years old or more at least they are from around 95 and that's old enough my friend told me don't blame me if you die if you eat them this one I hear some liquid and this is more compact the first one is Swedish hash or potato uh, what was the name potato was was it potato pan Swedish hash and this one is rice otto rice otto and I'm gonna eat one of those today if one is bad I'm gonna open the other one and try it I th think I'm gonna eat Swedish hash and in that one is we have standing like this you can eat it warm or cold you have in it you have potato beef pork meat bacon with nitrit I don't know what that is dry onion salt and pepper what do you think about that classic Swedish combat food golden can good burk it was a little bit tricky with that fire so I was cheating with fat wood can't do hardcore all the time anyways before I open the can, I want to show you my new favorite season. This can is now empty because the last of it I put over in a little yard so it's more better for the field. And this is American, I think. I put this on everything. Tonus, George, Harris. I don't know how to pronounce that. Try this out. Fantastic scone. Meat, fish, soups, and that kind of stuff. Okay, back to business. Should we open this up then? That Swedish hash. See how it smells and tastes. Built by AB Felix Eslöp. I am not very. I don't. Very professional with this Victorinox uh, can opener. Like you see, and now I have get stuck here, the bloody hell. And I eat hell better. Must do it with the right hand. The most, most most beautiful open opening of the can. Ah. 
I think I must Google on YouTube how to properly open the can with the door knocks. Here we have it. And it smells very good to be that old. And when we should eat Swedish army food, we must have Swedish eating tools. Must say it. Nothing wrong with this. But Magnus, I don't think I'm going to die. My, my my friend Magnus. Everybody, everybody in Swedish National Guard is named Magnus. We are not real humans. We are clones. We are cyborgs. And my model is Magnus, and the other Magnus who gave me this. We are from the same factory. We we don't eat we don't eat food. We just eat food to blend in. My apocalypse stomach has grown. Today I'm talking a lot of shit. Stop talking shit and let's eat. This on fire. A little bit warmer. Well, I think we can try to eat it now. First. We put on some of that Tony's seasoning. And pray that I don't shit my pants. Swedish hash. Bon appetit. I remember it tastes pretty good. A little bit strange, sweet taste. Back in 93 in Bosnia, I have a story to tell. As I was sitting in that um, armored personal carrier and eat what we call likfingrar. In English that will be corpse finger. It was, if I remember correct, it was sausage in beans. And I Eat them cold in that vehicle, sitting like that, and eat. And that vehicle going into some kind of bump. So I knock out my teeth, my front teeth, half of it, with that knife. Lucky me, we have free dental care back there. <laughs> of course. Corpse finger. And in the army home in Sweden we always put we have liberpate. You should have that on sandwich when we 
small cans. We put that in the the fire uh, that uh, stove in the tent. Put that in that um, I don't know kamin in English, and they go off with a big bang, scare the shit out of people. I have eaten better food, I must say. Looks like dog food. Thirty year old dog food. <laughs> okay, now I have uh, finished my my lunch, and um, it's time to, to me to go home. So thank you for follow, following me on this test of uh, field test of old Swedish army food golden can. And thank you, Magnus, for giving me those can. I don't have a clue why you have saved them all these years. Must say that the Swedish combat ration of today is one million times better than this. They was very cruel to us back then. Out. <laughs>